Hello Rebels and welcome back to my life. It's raining here in Los Angeles or it's been raining all day so I decided this would be the perfect time to go for a walk. There's the Chewy. We're gonna take the Chewy for a walk. Ah, hold still, hold still. Oh, he gets very excited. LA uh, is really hot obviously and really dry most of the time and uh, sometimes I get you know envious of other places where it rains and snows more often. And then it rains here and I'm like no maybe not this all the time. Maybe that wouldn't be good. These are the mountains that overlook my neighborhood. They're very pretty. If I ever leave Sunland, they're gonna be what I miss the most. Unfortunately, uh, that's not the only thing I get envious about. Sometimes I get envious about silly things. And uh, one thing I get uh, kind of envious about is when I see somebody being, you know, successful in a field that I do, like self-publishing or YouTube, and I've checked out their, either their books or their videos or something, and, and I don't think they're that good. I mean, they don't know me, they'd never see this. But specifically, there's certain self-published authors who, you know, do really, really well. And Amazon promotes their books because they're so successful. And they get ads on BookBub all the time. And it's very hard to get an ad on BookBub. And I read their books and I'm just like, I mean, you should at least be able to spell, right? To be able to achieve something like that, right? But the truth of the matter is that that's totally the wrong attitude to have. You should never, ever be jealous or envious of somebody else succeeding where you're trying to succeed. That's, it's just not productive for one. Thing. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a fairly natural human reaction. I mean, you're trying to go for a certain goal. So you get out there and you write the best books you can, and you're not Hemingway, but you, you know, you work at it. You work really hard, and you do the best book you possibly can, and you put it out there. It seems like such a simple transaction. The better a book is, the more people will compensate the author for it, but yeah, no, there's lots of ways that you can sell lots of books, even if they're not, like, particularly good. So, of course, the best thing to do, then, would be to write good books and also use all of those ninja tricks to sell your good books, because then you will not only have lots of books sold, but you will have have lots of readers who, you know, actually think you're good. And that is the magic formula. Except that if someone has figured out how to sell a lot of books and they don't write very, very good books and they know they don't write very good books, they don't tend to share the secrets of how they sold all of their, you know, like not quite awesome books. Fortunately, there are actually a lot of really good people out there in the world who not only write awesome books and not only know how to sell lots of those awesome books, but are willing to share those secrets with other people. Sorry, I'm an author, so I don't get out of the house much in the physical strain of moving more more than six blocks at a time has left me winded. So in the end, sometimes jealousy might be justified. Like, you might be kind of correct in thinking, God, this doesn't make any sense that this person is doing so well and I'm not doing as well as they are. That's why there's such a fine line between inspiration and jealousy. Like, you can be jealous of someone because they're succeeding or you can be inspired by someone's success. And I think that you're inspired by someone's success because you think it's the type of success that you want to have. Whereas when I get jealous, it's because somebody is succeeding in like a monetary way, even though they're not succeeding in an artistic kind of way and it just makes me a little bit resentful. So if there is a good reason to be jealous, I think it's to sort of use jealousy as like a sick cousin of inspiration to say, you know, if that person can do it, I can do it. And to sort of find whatever you can that will enable you to do what that person did. But I can think of two excellent reasons not to be jealous. One, jealousy can sort of become an excuse for not working on your craft because you're thinking, what's the point? If they can succeed without even being good, then why should I try for skill at all? And that's not helpful. But much, much more important than that is the fact that if you've gotten to the point where you are working on your art full time or for a good long portion of time and people are actually experiencing it and compensating you for it at all, then you're luckier than like 99% of all humanity in the history of humanity. And you don't have anything to be jealous about, really. Don't be jealous. Doesn't help you, doesn't help your writing, or your YouTube channel, or anything. Doesn't help anyone, really. Okay, that's it for me today, Rebels. I should do more walking videos. I think this was fun. I might get inside and find out that the footage is terrible and completely unusable, but hopefully not. And I will see you tomorrow. Maybe. Bye!